again from Offside Books in Kilburn, North West London. I'm Mark and uh, I can say it's been an exciting week. We're open again. It's gone quite well. I must admit I'm very happy with the sales this week but there have been one or two shaky moments. The most nervous time I must admit was on Monday morning itself after lots of people coming and interrupting our preparation work a few days before saying they're looking forward to coming to the shop we had two hours with no one and of course the nerves set in and I started to get nervous but once they started coming they really did support the shop and it's been the same all week we've had a really good support from the local com can I say the word community it's been really good thank you all and of course it, we have been helped to a certain extent by the weather if it if, if it's been warmer it's been nice and sunny but it's been cold but so if it had been warmer people would have been going to the park going to the beach even going to some of the pubs who have been open and sitting outside now having said that the pubs which have opened they're still doing a fairly decent trade but it is cold out there and that does help us uh, the biggest enemy of a bookshop really is rain moisture snow wet people don't tend to come in bookshops when it's wet in a minute we'll be looking at a, a video of some of the books we've got on display and this is what we're trying to achieve we're trying to get people excited by the range of books we've got in here obviously we can order in books but if people see a book they really want or a situation which we really look for is people get excited by several books at once which does happen then we, we can make it work so hope you enjoy the video and after the video coming up I'll try and uh, mention how I see other businesses coping with tentatively getting back to normal okay so I'm going to go across some of the books we've got in our front bookcase so you can see what type of books we've got in stock at the moment of course we can always order books in if you like this is a good bargain book £5.50 great story about Lemmy even if like myself you're not particularly a, a fan of his music Bob Dylan Chronicles worth reading just for the references and other books you should be reading Afropean fantastic book I love this book Back to Black for fans of Amy Whitehouse from the bottom of a heap a, an account of a Black Panther leader a very interesting modern history and uh, mind body spirit top of book sacred wisdom of the Native Americans some fiction down here Old Bones by Louise Walters um, publishing they they worth recommended border nation this is propaganda another fiction book the guy who co-wrote this with uh, patterson kwami alexander he pops into a bookshop every so often very nice gentleman arthur yellow sun voted in the top 10 i believe of the top 100 books of the century so far amazing book now this is an interesting book uh, what's it talking about it's talking about Japanese moon astrology which intrigues me and uh, another fiction book here towards the bottom more arty big type books and we've got some uh, jigsaw puzzles which can be helpful if we have another lockdown and let's hope we don't now I'm going to come across now to the front showcase David Hockney just come in, David Badil, Jews Don't Count, very good book, Hamnet, Marina Warner, Inventory of a Life Mislaid, I've got to read that, it seems to describe myself, Midnight Library, it, uh, as it states, the number one bestseller, 16 Trees of a Somme, again, it's a very sought after book, Ishigugu, he sells a lot of books now we've got one or two in translated uh, press this is from I believe Charco Press 
and worth looking into. Murakami, a big seller. This one has got a lot of reviews. Hope it's going to do well. Sorry about the shadows on this video. Women don't tell you pretty. Seems to be well sought after. We've had to reorder that in. And here's some more books. Daughters of Smoke and Fire is about the Kurdish women, I believe. Jerusalem, again from the Middle East. David Bowie, what can you say? Another great musician here, Patti Smith. And John Cooper Clark. I just love his voice, don't you? Richard III. George Orwell, writings from Spain. And some lessons for a post-pandemic world. W will we take note? I'm not sure. And then again, towards the bottom, art books, art books, and we've got more art books coming in. And we, we do have some of these graphic novels, superheroes, Batman and Superman, Spider-Man, that type of thing. Okay, so I hope you've found some books there which may tempt you into coming to our bookshop. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video slot of the books in our front showcase. We do have other shelves and we do have other books and of course I keep repeating myself books can be ordered in as well but we do try and get people excited by range and as one or two people have already told us they now feel they don't have to go into town to Waterstones when they know they can get books here in our shop. Now other businesses have also had to cope with closing down and then starting to open up again. Some pubs, restaurants are not yet open because they simply do not have much outdoor space and it, it is really not viable to open up. Other places have opened up and the Kilburn Arms up the top of the street on Wilson Lane, that seems to be doing quite well. They, they have invested and um, constructed some really nice nut snug area outside but with some cover so even if it's wet or cold you can have your drink and meal and uh, enjoy a nice uh, relaxing time. Uh, I've noticed in other parts of London, particularly in central London, they have, the authorities have pedestrianised some streets and uh, allowed cafes and bars to spread out onto the pavement as in much of continental Europe of course. So you've got your chairs, tables and uh, awnings above to protect from the elements and I've noticed one or two streets are getting really busy. Uh, people still have to be aware that, okay, you're in the open air, but try and keep some distance between you and other people. So COVID hasn't gone away. A lot of, a lot of us have been vaccinated. We've got some protection, but COVID is not going to go away completely. So we still need to maintain social distancing. Um, one other point here in England, Britain I should say, although I'm not quite sure if it's the same situation in Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, but local councils are being financed by the central government and they are giving uh, grants to businesses that have been forced to close and are now opening up and uh, it is much appreciated. No doubt in future years <laughs> A lot of that money will flow back in with business rates and taxes, but it is much appreciated. I, I do feel many businesses will overcome this and come out stronger. Uh, it's, it's been a challenging time and it has allowed businesses like ourselves to, to rethink what we're doing. And uh, I've mentioned before, as a bookshop, we're moving from secondhand books into new and discount books. And I'll probably go into that more in our next video clip. It, so far it's working well and we're hoping to keep it working well. Um, and uh, uh, again in the next clip I'll mention our, our tactics in trying to get people to keep buying new books. Which is not a, a hardly so because there are a lot of fascinating new books out there coming out all the time. So until next week, hope you all have a good week and can enjoy the sunny weather which we're getting now in London.